This is my series of answering your questions. This question, how many offers should you make to estate agents? That's the question. So if that's something that interests you, let's get into it, shall we? Let's, let's talk intelligently rather than just kind of very simply. Um, and let's get into a little bit of detail because actually the devil's in the detail. And uh, I, I know that you want to know the, the real uh, thing about property, not just like headlines. Um, so we're going to do headlines and detail. Headlines. Okay. And, and if you've seen some of the videos, you'll know this. Um, we did over 217 uh, deals. So we've done a lot of deals. We were one of the biggest deal sourcing companies in the country. And um, we uh, did about 45 million quid's worth of property, sourced, bought, sold, flipped, let out, agreed at a, 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 an agreed purchase price of 30 million quid. So, and that was in four and a half years. So we were going some, we were kind of doing roughly 50 deals a year, between 48 and 53 deals a year, but um, they would come along like buses. So don't think it was like, oh, another deal. Oh, Monday morning, it plops in. It'd be like nothing for three weeks and then suddenly three deals and then nothing for a week and then two deals and then, you know, then three deals, then nothing for three. You know, it was it was like that. It was sporadic, but the work was consistent. So the results came semi-sporadically, but the work was consistent. So I know what the average is overall for having sourced over 200 deals. And uh, let's to, let's give you the maths. If you are buying from estate agents, uh, you need to do 100 phone calls, 25 offers. So that's your answer. 21, uh, sorry, 25 viewings, forgive me, sorry. 21 offers. So that is your basic answer. 21 offers will get you between one and two deals. So let's just be pessimistic and say it's one deal. So just to recap, and I want you to write that down, 100 phone calls to estate agents, 25 viewings, 21 offers will get you a deal. So in the basic level, how many offers should you be putting into estate agents? Well, 21 will get you a deal. But the broader context is also important. You notice I go from 100 phone calls to 25 viewings. So only one in four phone calls will even result in a viewing. Uh, three out of four, they'll be, I'll be like, oh, thank you so much. Doesn't look like you've got anything for me at the moment. I wish you good luck. Wonderful. You're being able to sell everything at high price. You know, well done. And the, so, so don't expect to phone in the stage and, and go out to every viewing, because if you're doing that, you're kind of making a mistake because what's going to happen is you're going to go out to a viewing. You won't be able to put an offer in uh, because the buyer will be nowhere near you. Or if you do put an offer in, you're just going to embarrass the estate agent because the buyer's like, uh, uh, it, by law, they have to put that offer forward. But the buyer's like, are you are you kidding me? You, you're, you're joking. And so you're embarrassing the estate agent who's also had to fight hard to get that business and beat off the other estate agents who also bid on it. So now the estate agent looks really stupid. So um, 100 phone calls down to 25 viewings, 25 viewings down to 21 offers. That's the critical point. 85% of properties you see, you need to actually be bidding on. What does that mean? As the, an early stage investor, the likelihood is you're going to be bidding on less than half of the properties you've gone out to view. So that means that you're wasting your time, you're wasting the stages time, we go back to the same circle again. The stage is like, well, am I here for fun or are you going to give me a deal? Come on, let's do business, people. So that means that what you need to do is make sure your phone calls are on point so that you're only going out to see properties where you can bid on them. And then 15% of those, there'll be a reason that you didn't even realise that you won't be able to bid on them. So that sort of shoves up your 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 um, work back to the phone call. Um, so simple answer is 25 viewings, 21 offers should get you a deal. More important is that the whole cascade of the ladder is in correct ratio. So 100 phone calls, 25 viewings, 21 offers, 85% of properties you view, you should get a deal. Hope that's helpful. Um, but it means that all the work is actually done on the phone, not in the field. The field is just going to qualify something and almost eliminate it from being offered on. The phone call qualifies it to put it in your basket in the first place. So if you're going to say, well, where do I focus my skill and my strength and my, 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 you know, my, my energy, it's on the phone calls. And everybody thinks it's your property investor if you go and kick the tires and go see the site. No, it's on the phone calls. And quick bonus tip, I never look at right move. I mean, I look at right move if I want to move house myself, which I'm not going to move house. I love my house. 
Um, I look at Rightmove if I'm going to analyse the valuation of a property that I'm looking to buy, but I never find deals on Rightmove. I just pick up the phone and talk to the estate agents. That's the way that I, or, or go to auction or go direct to vendor or go direct to house. That's how I do it. Don't be like everybody else, wasting hours of time, like at night time after your day job, scrolling through Rightmove. Just pick up the phone. Hope that's useful. Like, subscribe, send it to a friend who's struggling to find deals right now and I'm wondering, well, how many offers should I put into an estate agent? And also have a look at the website, thegoodpropertycompany.co.uk. It's a cracking website stacked full of downloadable, useful information for you. Good luck. Critical question and a free checklist over here. How to figure out what price to offer in a property deal. I have a checklist written for you. Tick it off, get the job done. Download it 